Uh, shalom from the Hebrew Israelites. Prophesying another, uh, prophesying for another week. The downfall of the so-called great kingdom called America. All right, we want to give all praise to Yahweh Shema Shai. Praise to Yahweh. The elders, the great millstone. You know, uh, honor to the document that's out there, still, you know, pushing his word. You know. All right, so I guess. Uh, on the spirit, we're gonna go on like a topic, I guess, um, basically how you should, how, you, how an elect man is supposed to conduct themselves. Because as you can see, we're closer and closer to get to the end of this thing, and you still got people, you know, just just in folly, man, being sottish, being you know, just completely wicked, all right, and, and just living it up here in America. And if you're trying to receive salvation, you know, there's a certain way you gotta conduct yourself, all right. Second Peter is three, verse two. 3 verse 3, knowing this first that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust. This is in the last days scoffers. It's not anything to, to, to just prove that we're, you know, at the end of things, the amount of scoffers that come up here, man. I mean, it's so blatant that, the, that America's going to be destroyed, but yet they still are scoffing and saying that it's not going to happen. Go ahead. And saying, where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. Right, and they're saying, where is it coming? Because they got a lot of people are asking, you know, oh, well, when is it going to come? And then you got all these false um, days that, that so-called Esau and these other nations, they, they just spring out like, oh, May, what was it, May 21st or something like that? Was the end of the world or, or uh, December? Was the end of the world? And then, you know, just the days keep going by and then they're asking, well, well, well how did it come yet? All right? Instead of, and, and then these people that are asking, well, when is he coming, or, or, or why didn't he come yet, uh, they're not even preparing, all right? They don't want to prepare at the last minute. That's why the scriptures say that no man's going to know the hour or the day, all right? We only have clues, go ahead. Amos 5 verse 18, wants to you that desire the day of the Lord. Yep. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. You got a lot of people asking, when, when, when is America going to be destroyed? But a lot of people asking this question don't realize that they're going to be a part of the destruction, all right? It's not going to be light for them. It's going to be darkness. You know, you got Esau looking at, like, the America's going to be destroyed sign. They're like, yeah, I can't wait for that. Don't, don't you realize, you so-called white people, that that's, a, that's the end of your rulership? That's when you guys are going to be put in slavery? Your other nations are going to be put in slavery? All right? Go ahead. Uh, Ezekiel 13 verse 5 Ye have not gone up into the gates Meaning the streets to teach his word Neither made up the heads for the house of Israel To stand in the day To stand in the battle In the day of the Lord right, That's what we're doing right? That's what the elect men are doing right? We're trying to do you know They're, they're standing out here man In, in the battlefield all right? And proclaiming unto the people what's, what's getting ready to come All right to prepare ourselves for when all destruction and all hell breaks loose. Go ahead. Back to 2 Peter 3 verse 5. For this they willingly are ignorant of that by the word of the Most High, the heavens were of old and the earth standing out of water and in the water, yep. whereby the world, world that then was being overflowed with water perished. Yeah, see, this is what they're ignorantly, you know, ignorantly unaware of. That the same... People that were saying that there's no way that uh, the world was going to be destroyed, all right? I'm talking about during the time of Noah, all right, when the Lord completely flooded the world. Everyone was saying, oh, that's not going to happen, that's not going to happen. And guess what happened? It, it, it ha you know, the whole world got wiped out, man. And it got flooded. The same people today are saying the same thing. It's not going to happen. All right, America's going to continue to be prosperous. Or we're talking all kinds of other doctrines like the so-called Chinese and Japanese are going to be the next rulers. But they ain't considering that the fact that thermonuclear destruction is coming to America and these other countries. Go ahead. You got a piece of But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store reserved unto fire against the day of judgment. That's right. Everything, everything around you, man, is reserved, okay, kept for freaking thermonuclear missiles, man. All these things, all these buildings being built up, all right? are going to be destroyed. Go ahead. It says, again, verse 7, 
But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire, against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. Yep. Uh, on, on to, on to uh, two thirds, man. Perdition of ungodly men. Those of you not seeking to come back to the Lord, all right? You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to taste of that thermonuclear destruction. You're gonna have to go through a lot of hell. All right? Not knowing when your next meal is gonna come in. If you're not trying to seek the Lord now. <laughs> what? But, but beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing. That one day is with the Lord as a thousand years. Right, so one day with the Lord is a, is a thousand years. So the hell that we're catching right now is, is, is but little to, uh, uh, to the most high, man. It's only been, what, two two days to the most high, roughly? You know, since we've been, you know, in, in, in this shitty captivity. So, basically, it, it, the, the time is coming, man, where it's basically gonna, it's gonna come, man. The flood is gonna come through. And that flood is these thermonuclear missiles. Right. Says, but beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. Yep. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness. Yeah, so he's not, he's not slack, right? Basically meaning he ain't gonna come back with what he said, all right? He ain't gonna, you know, say something and then, you know, take it back, all right? What he says and what he commands go, right? And he's not gonna tarry, all right? When he wants it to happen, that's when it's gonna happen, right? Go ahead. But it's long suffering towards us. Yep, long suffering. But you know, he's giving us this grace period. Because a lot of all of us, man, before coming in this truth, man, we were going off. Alright? And the Lord found mercy that you know to, to put out that old man and put on the new man, right? And seek salvation. That's what we're teaching all these people, you know, all the people, the tribes, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians to do. Alright, if they want to be saved. If not, then fuck you, alright? Then you can taste the destruction. All right, but I ain't concerned with, the, with just mad scoffers and just people bug, bugging the hell out, right? As far as I'm concerned, I'm, I, I hate the two-thirds, right? I hate anybody who acts like a two-third. Right? Until you come into that right mindset, you know, you ain't, a, you ain't a brother, all right? As far as I'm concerned, you're still a spick, all right? Fucking Dominicans, all right? All right. Not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. That's right. So that all should come to repentance. You know, so that's why we're out here. Right, we know that there's only going to be a select few to get this truth. All right? Yeah, that's that all. all right. Yep. That all is only for a small group. All right? That's the Lord's elective remnant. Because those are the only ones that are going to uh, repent. All right? Or have a change of mind. All right? Or turn back. All the elect. That's right. I got Real quick. Right, real quick. Proverbs 22 and 3 A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. Yeah, see that? And we're prudent, man. We, we, are, we are looking for the, the times, man. We are keeping watch, right? We're always checking the news. All right, so we're, we're making sure that we're prepared for this, all right? Whereas a simple man, he's not, he's not concerned with anything that's going on, all right? You have, um... <laughs> Basically, what, what was it? In Syria, Syria, all the freaking hell. I think that, like 200 some people or something like that died in a. Uh, it was a, I think it's Syria, right? Clashes. Syria, Egypt. Yeah, over, e this week. They over said 600 died in Egypt. Yeah, they said it's like the most people that ever, that like the, the most massacre ever. All right. And they had this guy in the news, and they were basically saying that um, you know, that it's basically America that's doing this. All right, we're not we're not doing anything. They're the ones that are pushing this bullshit on us. Because they don't want their democracy, they don't want their bullshit, they don't want their, 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 their the whole military and government, you know, suppressing what they're what they're saying, you know. Yeah, they don't want none of Esau's weight. Exactly. That's why they burn the U.S. flags down there, yeah. including Israel, Israeli flags, you know, because they hate the white man, you know. The, the most I put that spirit on them to rebel against them. But yeah, that's, that's like why uh, the, uh, the so-called white man, you can't make those uh, arrows submit. You know, that's why he, uh, basically uh, instigating uh, uh, chaos in, the, in their land. No, with civil war, well, they're on the verge of civil war in Egypt. Okay, the, uh, the so-called white man he just wanted to destabilize that land and take their resources and put them in captivity. And just and they justify it with bullshit lies, man. Like talking about the, the twin towers or, or, the, or the war on terror. But you know that's what that's something that the, that 
um, a righteous man, you know, or someone who's seeking or obtaining righteousness is going to do. They're going to check the news. So, you know, we, we keep him watched to warn the people. Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiasticus 32 and 14. Whoso feareth the Lord will receive his discipline. Yeah, fearing the Lord is keeping the commandments. All right? Because if you're not fearing the Lord, then you basically don't care if you break one of his laws because you don't, you don't fear what the consequences may be. That's what fearing the law is. Fearing the consequences of what happens if you don't, you know, try to obtain righteousness or try to be, you know, basically doing what the Lord tells you to do. You know, one of the things the Lord tells you to do is go out in the highways and byways and preach the word. Yeah, you're a complete fucking reprobate. Uh, if you don't know that you gotta, if you're an Israelite, you don't know that you gotta keep the law, statutes, and commandments. Meanwhile, you walk around here knowing that there's certain things in this society that if you